Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the arena plugin. Now, there's four major things I'm going to be teaching today. I'm not going fully in depth, but they're going to be arena, zone manager, building wrapper, spawns database. The other ones that you have to have is kits and image library. So. If you're going to be making multiple arenas, write down the zone IDs and spawn saves that correlate with them. Examples, if you have two arenas, you want to write down arena 1, the zone ID that it gives you, the spawns, which it's the spawn file that you'll create, I'll show you that in a bit, spawn locations, how many you have, because you don't want to be like, oh, how many spawns does I have? I only want to set a 1v1. And for this one, a free for all, I have 18 locations. Your first steps are going to be create the arena itself, the area that you're going to be on, the zone in the area. You're going to use building wrapper to expand the zone to make it fit better. You're going to create spawn points. And you're going to use create to create an arena event. You also have to create kits. But you can do that on your own time. You should know how to use kits by now if, if you're setting this, this plugin up. Alright, so we're going to do... Alright, so arena. This is the main page. One thing I do want to point out is if you have to reload your arena, only load this. It even says important, no, important attempt. Only load this one. Only reload it. It'll reload the rest of them. And you got your zone manager, spawns database, and building wrapper. Building wrapper will save you so much hassle now let's go back to the game so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do zone add name you're going to just gonna create a zone a little circle around you I've already done it name mine arena 5 this is my fifth arena to so that it's going to give you a zone ID. And I already have that. So, after that, you're going to do zone. You know, you're going to do BW wrap. You're going to type your zone ID. And you're going to put this. Or you can do square, which will just expand it to the size of the base. The BW is the building wrapper. So, what you're gonna want to do from here is you're gonna do spawns new. This created a new spawn file. This will allow you to create spawn locations now. I'm gonna create 18 because this is a free for all. What you do now is you do spawns add copy that because you're going to not want to have to type that a bunch of times alright now I added a spawn so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 17 more of these and just keep going around and doing this until you have all your spawns
two more. Alright, now that I have all those created, I'm going to do spawns, save, I'm going to save it as A5, which is Arena 5, that way they correlate with each other a little better. You now have a new file in your spawns folder and your plugins list, and your data file actually. So from here, either you could have done this earlier, or you can do it now, you're going to do zone edit you're gonna type in your zone you're now editing it then you're gonna do zone underscore flags and you're gonna set all your flags now once you have all that done and your kits made you're gonna do slash create. I'm doing a free for all. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna free for all. Event name. If you have any keybinds set, like I do, then anytime you press them, it'll mess it up. So you're gonna to have to go up here. You're gonna to have to copy and paste stuff. Description, you know, it's obviously it's a free for all spawn file this is the file you just made all those spawn locations that's why you name it this is why you name it this is the arena 5 which you're going to correlate with the zone ID that I made so a5 kit list I'm going to use arena guns and arena weak weapons which the arena weak and the arena gun they're they're not too different I'm gonna enable class selector this will allow them to select which kit they want on death at the beginning and on death zone ID make sure you know you wrote this down earlier arena 5 spawn 5 and this is my zone ID for arena 5 time limit in minutes I'm going to do 15 minutes score limit 30 deaths required players I'm going to want 6 I'm going to do 6 all around because once the required players are in the game it will start it so minimum is obviously going to be 6 um, there, I think there is a way to adjust the time limit in there. You can adjust everything to your liking, but I like everything to be instant and, you know, it's, it's all your preference. So once that's set up, you just click save. And there you go. Now you're going to do slash menu. And there is your new event right there.